mighty people of God. How is everybody doing? I pray that you all are having a blessed day thus far. If I tell you that God is good and he is doing some amazing things, I'm just so excited about the journey. And you all should be excited as well. Because we know that every day is a new day with him. And nothing is the same. Nothing is the same. So every day I am looking forward to something new from the Lord. If I tell you I seen this hand move so mightily yesterday, and I'm just so grateful. Glory to God, we should be grateful and thankful that we are a part of that remnant. Glory to God. If you would allow me for just a minute, you know, to acknowledge, you know, a person that sowed a seed the other day, I just want you to know that I did receive your seed. And, you know, I don't say names because, you know, when we're in the body of Christ, a lot of times people, you know, they want their giving to remain anonymous. And I can respect that because I'm the same way, you know, as well. You know, if you want to acknowledge, that's fine. But if not, you know, it doesn't matter. We can keep it, you know, between me, you, and God. But anyway, I want to acknowledge that person. And I notice, you know, on YouTube, they do give out names when they're acknowledging people. But once again, we are in the body of Christ. And that could be a little bit differently. So how about if I just do it by state? The person, you know, in Chicago, I just want you to know that I really, really appreciate the seed that you sold the other day. I didn't even know it was there. I just happened to be checking, you know, inboxes and everything. And I want to acknowledge the young lady out of Dallas, Texas. You know who you are. I thank God for you for the prayer kit, you know, that you sewn into my life. You know, I was just about to buy a new prayer shawl. And God knows what we need. You know, he knows the desires of our heart is what I'm trying to say. And it was just right on time, so I bless God for you as well. And like I said, I don't want nobody to go, you know, unnoticed because you don't have to do the things that you do. Amen? Amen. So enough of that. I love to get those type of things out of the way before we go into the Word of the Lord and see what God is saying concerning His people because God has a big concern for us. So get ready to receive what the Lord has for us. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. And I seen him move, you know, so quick last night. I'll tell you, I just started, de you know, declaring and decreeing things and it happened. Glory to God. If you have your Bibles, I want to run real quickly to the book of Joel, chapter 2, around about the 25th verse is what I want to rehearse to your hearing. It says, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten the canker worm and a caterpillar and the palmer worm, it says, my great army, which I sent among you. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearers and the doers of his word on today. Right now, we're talking about, you know, God's response and his promise to us. We know that God has promised us so many things, but, but sometimes the enemy can come in and, you know, and we can get tripped up, you know, in some type of sin that causes us to fall short of the blessings of God. But God is saying, you know, like he is eager. He is ready to restore them things. Glory to God. But we must be in right position with him. So let us repent, people. The book of Acts chapter 3 tell us to repent ye therefore and be converted. It says so your sins can be blotted out. And that when the time of refreshing shall come, the presence of the Lord. We need the presence of the Lord. And when we move on to Proverbs 28, the verse tells us that he that covered his sin shall not prosper. But whoso confess it and forsake it should have mercy. We need the mercy of God. Glory to God all day long. That is what we need. And his mercy is new every day. So we are trying to get some blessings and God is trying to give some blessings. We need to confess some things, people. Glory to God. 
Spiritual blessings is what we really, really need here. And I just stopped by to let you know that God is pleased to restore blessings to those who repent. But we must repent, people of God. And everything that's been held up and tripped up by the enemy, God is going to release that. Glory to God. He can no longer sabotage what God has for you. Glory to God. God is releasing on today. I've seen him release on yesterday. We have to start commanding some things. We have to start speaking some things into the atmosphere. We have to start binding and loosing some things. Use your power, people of God. God is ready to restore you, but we must be in right position with him. The enemy has captured everything that God had in store for you and caused you to be caught up and bound. That is why everything was held up, but God is saying, now I'm ready to release unto my faithful ones. Hallelujah. People of God, he's sending his promise back through his word. That's about to be so much more comfort and grace that's taking place. Remember, he said that he's going to restore the years back. Hallelujah. He said that there's about to be a balance of the famine that you have been in. Those years are going to be restored back to you. Hallelujah. It's about to be an overflow of oil and wine. We're talking about spiritual benefits here. So get ready, people of God. God because he is restoring right now, right at this moment, God is restoring some things back to his people. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I am not the only one that has been waiting, that has been in a famine. Glory to God. God is restoring people. I'm watching him move. Hallelujah. Get in position. Glory. As I close, people of God. Remember that God is about to restore some things back to his people. Glory to God.